Hello, this is not a screen chick, and the big news today is, yes, President Obama finally decides to blame President Bush for all his problems. Hmm. I don't remember Clinton doing anything like that. Or the Bushes. Well, meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Mm -hmm. And Obama to defend an economic record. Okay. As most people don't know, flip-flop Obama has not been out for a long time because Obama really doesn't flip-flop. He's just socialist all the way. The, today he, he blamed George Bush for the economic problems that existed when he took office, even though it was the Democratic Party who's threatening to raise taxes on petroleum companies, which caused a foreclosure mess. And it was Bill Clinton who started the problem with the housing, which basically said, if you were a pooper scooper making $4 an hour, you could buy a house on Brentwood. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he, he neglects to remind, remember those things. And the fact that uh, it, you know George Bush isn't president anymore, and the fact that everybody in the leadership of his party says, stop talking about the economy, period, because, well, I need four more years to undo the problems that George Bush and the Republicans caused. The Republicans, they won't pass any of my more. If I just had another stimulus, we could turn the corner. But the stimulus isn't for you people. It's so that we can hire more government workers. And that will trickle down. No, we don't do trickle down, you know. So I, I, I didn't pay, nobody paid any attention to the press conference. It didn't even get on live anywhere. Are you serious? Well, because they all knew what happened was when Obama admitted, he, he, the White House election staff said, we're going to come forth with a brand new major economic proposal. And then that was followed by leaks from the White House saying it's exactly the same thing he's been saying that they turned down 99 to nothing in the Senate. Mm -hmm. And war on religion, North Dakota Measure 3 aims to strike back. Well, it says you can't, uh, it, it says the Constitution, the, you follow what the Constitution, you shall not make no laws abridging freedom of speech or freedom of religion. And basically, why flip-flop is that again? Attorney General Holder is challenging the validity of a law that reaffirms the Constitution. Mm -hmm. They do it all the time. And super like, bug gonorrhea spreading across Europe. Well, what happens is, um, uh, you know how, how, how you can fix the problem is called you go backwards to penicillin. What it is, is that what they do is they treat everything with new drugs. They bypass, okay, people basically bypassed aspirin for years. Guess what? They decide aspirin, since people don't, the bugs don't have an immunity to aspirin, aspirin works. So now you're thinking, well, maybe if we use penicillin, we can stop the spread. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Lindsay Lohan, truck driver telling tales about accidents. Oh yeah. Well, what happened was she creeped up too close to an automobile and totaled her brand, her her car. So you can't get close behind these trucks because if they stop short, you run into them. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is he still loses because he stopped where he shouldn't have stopped. Therefore, it makes no difference whether she was tailgating or not. He should not have stopped. Where did he stop? He stopped. Uh, he stopped short to to make a turn. He stopped dead to make the turn instead of making the turn. So he loses. Oh, so she ran into him. Yeah. She wasn't, she didn't anticipate an idiot stopping before he turns. Well, it sounds like he was like trying to create an accident if that's well, what no, he Well, no. He, okay, she was behind him. He couldn't, okay, in his mirrors, there's a dead zone when you creep up to a certain oh, point on that truck. Oh, that's true. And I used to play games like that when I drive. I'd see the kill time on the, when I was on long Shame trips. on you. I would creep up where I knew the driver couldn't see me and I draft behind him and he just pulled me along and then he'd notice there was a loss so he'd start moving to right and left and I'd start, it'd be the game, how could you, can you stay within the thing without being seen and eventually they would see you so then you'd go around them so I'm bad. Mm -hmm. It was fun though because and they said, my, I remember my mother would say, well, what if he stopped short? Well then i just go around him on the right hand side. Yeah, if you have enough, yeah. apparently she didn't have fast enough reflexes. Yeah, well, she did. Yeah, I mean, Lindsay Lohan. She, they think she was out partying again, which is not, which is not supposed to. But you can go party and not drink, though. Mm-hmm. And witness in trial tells of Sandusky in shower with boy. I know. It's just the same guy that blew the whistle the first time. He's, he's rehabilitating his uh, his his career. But don't worry. I'm betting he has a book deal. 
Oh, interesting. Yeah. And Democrats hold on to Arizona congressional seat. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know how long they're going to hold the seat? This is June. June, July, August, September, October, and they run again in for November. He starts his campaign right now, and he said they barely won the seat. Barely. And basically, this was her aid. It was nothing more than her keeping the seat until her, ter her term ran out. But uh, they, almost, they, they almost lost it back to the person that held the, the seat originally, but lost the seat because the Democrats didn't like he was one of the ones that introduced the immigration bill. If the Supreme Court you know, says that, the Cong that the Obama is wrong on it, you can bet that they'll re-elect him in six months. And Mexican cartel accused of laundering cash in U.S. horse racing. That is the most ridiculous piece of news I've seen yet. You, well, what's ridiculous about because that? Because they you, always launder? No. It, it, unless, okay. You have to win in order to get money back. If you just put your money in a loser, you lose the money. The object is when you go to Las Vegas, you feed a, a twenty, you know, twenty dollars into a machine, and the machine and bet three quarters, you get nineteen dollars and twenty-five cents back. If you go to a horse race and bet twenty dollars, and your horse doesn't do anything, you don't get any money back. So that's that. That was not a really intelligent thing, folks. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and Democrats hold. Oh, and tweet from Francis. First lady shocks the nation. Well, yeah, she's a left-wing socialist. What do they think she's going to do? What did she say? It is the socialist comment that basically that uh, you know basically it's uh, up the rebels, down the wealthy. Oh, well, so. Well, because it's it's well they okay. There's a lot of wealthy people in France, and mm -hmm. basically. You know, saying that we're going to destroy you and tend to give everything to other people, that never, that really doesn't go over well. That's not people. really smart. I know. Well, I guess we're finding out she's not really smart. No, they're socialists. Oh, yeah, and Zimmerman's wife arrested for perjury. Well, she, she committed no perjury. Okay, we're going to try to explain it very simple. This is uh, uh, Eric Holder at work. He wants to convict this, this person no matter what. So he's now saying, the justice were basically on the case said, well, we were lied to about how much money they had. No, that money is coming in for the defense of Zimmerman. It does not count as their money. It is a defense fund. And you say, well, he doesn't get to go out on bail because he has a defense fund. Well, the, the law doesn't work that way. You have to give people equal opportunity to bail, and it's only a second-degree charge to begin with. And one dead and three hurt and blast south of downtown L.A. I, I know. Somebody was basically uh, playing with stuff and it went kaboom. Not good. Um, Judge blocks union election and American Airlines. Well, yeah, because they want to shut down. Okay, American Airlines is basically being taken over because they went bankrupt again. Uh, they, you know, for, they should be. The, okay, Claire McCaskill will lose her job in the Senate more over sponsoring the takeover of TWA, which is a Kansas City, St. Louis business, then she went over everything else. But they, American Airlines took over TWA and then ran TWA into the ground and then they ran a, a American Airlines into the ground and now if they have a, the union is going to vote to strike a company that's going out of business, which is the courts never allow that. And Macy's pickup at homes facing foreclosure risk. Yep. Because Obama says the Republicans will not support his plan. Well, his plan is we must give people that can't afford it their homes and say screw you to the people that are paying their bills. Because guess who is going to pick up the payments for those homes that the people are going to be told they don't have to make payments on? Who? The people that are paying their bills. They said, uh, like a, a bunch of a-holes over on my side, you know, that uh, it's, all, it's time that the people, hard-working people, you know, get their, uh, get something in return like the wealthy has. They're not paying taxes. Mm -hmm. They're paying for their homes. They're on, they're getting food stamps. I mean, what more than they want? Animonte bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. You, if you're told, don't do what you're doing and you keep doing it, you can't expect anything more than the people that told you not to do it to walk off.